So can anyone take a guess on what I'm planting today? Today I am planting potatoes. Now it is getting mid to late May here in central Kentucky and we've had quite the weather this year. It's gone from hot, cold, hot, and now chilly again. And just about a week ago we had freezing temperatures. So these guys have been sitting out in my garage for a while and you can tell by these big old roots. So the potatoes I have here is just a general all-purpose white potato. It's good for baking, mashed potatoes, um, and I like a, having a versatile potato because I can only grow so many and I want to make sure that I can use them in any way I want to cook, to cook them. Uh, this is a it's called Kennebec and I ordered these from a company called uh, So True Seed and this year I'm going to try something a little different growing them. Traditionally I've grown them in a raised bed and they always do wonderful but I've heard really good reviews on using something like this. Now this is a fabric planting pot. Um, it is a special felted fabric and the company here is called Root Pouch. Um, and this is a 10, 10 gallon pot. Now what so is supposed to be so great about these, again I've never used these before but other people I know have. Um, so the root pouch is breathable and what that does, it does something to the plant called root or air pruning. And so when the roots of the plant get to the boundary of the pot, the root stops growing because it detects that oxygen, that air. So that's why it's called air pruning. And so this prevents any kind of uh, root bound conditions for the plant. So these are great to grow like trees in and things like that. Um, I've heard good things about growing potatoes in them, so I'm going to try that today. Alright, so what I've done here, I had four seed potatoes, so I divided them into two different grow bags. And so I filled each pot with about four inches of just all-purpose potting soil, potting mix, and put the potatoes on top. And now I'm going to go back and add about three more inches of potting mix. Now I've got these planted and one thing I want to show you here is one reason these fabric pots are nice for potatoes is because you can roll this down and once these green up you want them to get plenty of sunlight so you can roll that down and then once you get green growth on your potatoes and so if you haven't grown potatoes before uh, one thing you can do to increase your yield is actually when these get about eight inches tall the foliage you can add additional soil add another four inch layer of soil and so that's going to increase your yields of potatoes and so once it reaches eight inches tall you could just fold this back up and there you have more room to add more soil. Another great thing about these fabric pots is that you could sit them in spots that you normally wouldn't want to have a permanent garden bed. Um, so because you can just lift them and carry them to different spots so easily. So it's great if you're in an apartment or maybe on a rental property um, or if you're just trying to grow some extra food uh, somewhere on your property, these may be a good option for you. So I'm going to let these potatoes green up and when it's time to add more soil, we'll be back. So it is now three weeks later and what a difference these potatoes are now. Look how much new growth is on there. So now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put some more soil in there. And so that is actually what, how I'll be hilling the potatoes. So 
So I've peeled up my potatoes here. And all I did was just simply put a bunch of soil in here to fill up the pot and to cover more of these stems up. So hopefully what is now covered up in beneath soil will grow more potatoes. And actually when I was on here, I found a Colorado potato beetle, which is one of the worst pests. So I got him off of there. And now I'm gonna fertilize them. And I just use this organic liquid fish emulsion, which I found works great. And so now I'm gonna do that. And between these two buckets, there's a little over a one pound of seed potatoes in there. So later on this summer, we'll see how many potatoes actually yield. All right, so it is now August 14th and here are the potatoes. So I think it's time to go ahead and harvest them. Um, they look, the foliage just looked so awesome all summer. And maybe the past couple weeks, it's been slowly browning out. Now I'm going to see how many potatoes I got out of these uh, two 10 gallon fabric totes. Alright, you live and you learn. <laughs> this is my yield um, from those two 10 gallon uh, felt fabric uh, grow pots, whatever you want to call them. Um, so I planted a total of about one and a half pounds of seed potatoes. And here I weighed it, it's four pounds. So to me, that is not very good yield. Um, I am happy with the quality of the potatoes. I think they're all, most of them are a good size. Uh, the skins look great. Um, they're all, none of them are green. None of them got chewed on by rodents. Um, I'm just really unhappy with the yield. Um, in the past, I've grown potatoes for a few years now. Um, I typically order two pounds of seed potatoes and I plant them in a four inch tall, uh, four by four raised bed. And I usually get four to five times the amount than, that there is here. Um, so that, this is pretty disappointing. Um, Last year, I had my best yield, and I really neglected the potatoes. There, I planted them in a raised bed that was hard to get to to water, so they got very little water. Um, I may have fertilized them once, maybe not, I don't remember, uh, but I literally got the best yield of potatoes I ever got last year. And this year, I pampered these. Um, they were. The felt bags were on my back patio, so they got watered probably almost daily. Uh, they got fertilized several times, um, and I didn't find any rotted in the grow bag, so I don't think it had to do with the water over watering. Um, so I'm just not sure why I didn't get the yield that I thought I was going to. Um, another YouTuber really went on about how great those felt grow bags were. Um, he, he said he got more of a yield out of those than he did in his raised bed. But here, I'm, sh I'm my testimony is that I have the opposite. They do much better in my raised bed. And to kind of show that for this year, uh, I harvest these last week. They are a really good size. So these just came up in my raised bed this year. Uh, there were probably some tiny little potatoes that I left um, in the raised bed that I didn't see. So they, these just sprouted on their own this year. They just came up and it was literally just three stalks and that's it. And this is what I got. And I've weighed this and this is three pounds of potatoes. So I should have gotten much more of a yield than that. Um, the thing with a raised bed though, um, usually critters get in there, um, they might uncover some of the soil, some of them might turn green, um, so I do maybe typically lose more of the potatoes 
um, growing in a raised bed. You can see this one also got gnawed on by some, some rodent. Um, so, but I don't think that loss makes up for the poor yield I got out of the felt grow bags. So there we go. Um, that's my experience with growing the potatoes in the felt bags. I'm probably not going to do that again anymore. I'm just going to keep growing them in my raised bed.